Yes, they actually made this entire level based off of that one song. But, this won't be the only time this happens in that game, as you'll see soon enough. Everything in this in the stages based after the genie. His appearance or his head. In this case, you get some platforming with the genie himself providing the platforms. And this can actually be kind of tricky. Well not this part. But that. Sometimes they don't swing all the way and you end up missing the card and falling to your doom. Like I just did there. However, uh, it's starting me at the beginning, no checkpoint. However, if you've run too many lives down, then the whole thing will just be clouds. And since we just got a hundred rubies, we got a new heart. Don't screw me again, genie. <laughs> Boing. You got that? You got that? Alright. And we got them all this time. Let's not fuck up this jump again. Got it. Now if you swing around, you can get that ruby right above that. that Christmas light ring with a handle you can grab onto. Yep, now in here the genie becomes balloons that float up and that you can grab. And they'll pop if you land on them. Luckily they are infinitely respawning, so you don't have to worry about losing any mode of getting across if you miss one. Now we bounce on these things to get across. Alright. All right. Now this one has to be easy to get. You just jump on that swing and you get it. And these blue tornadoes flying around will hurt you if you get hit. So try not to get hit, okay? Even though I just did. Right at the end of the stage. Wheel of Morality, turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson that we should learn. Yes, I just quoted Animaniacs in a Let's Play about Aladdin. Because I'm awesome like that. <laughs> and we get back that heart we just lost. Looks like we never lost it at all. <laughs> now this is the last of the genie stages. We just jump on his tongues to get up to the next to the next section here. <laughs> and these flying things in pots. Just what the hell are they? I've never known what they are. I'd like to know that someday. And just watch, it's probably an instruction manual to the game. Which I haven't seen in many, many years. Oh well. And now Genie's face is in blocks. And when you jump on his face block, he he'll fall. Make sure you get up quickly so that you don't fall with him. And we're almost at the end here. Here's what someone could die of getting that red ruby if they're not fast enough and careful. And here we are. We finished stage four. And we got all the red rubies in this one too. 
Yep, so we're flying out out of the Cave of Wonders. Actually, this part isn't even based off of anything in the movie. This is completely original for this game. Abu falls off the carpet somehow. And a lion tries to hunt him down in an ancient pyramid. Full of sand traps and sand birds. Why one of the guards is in here, I have no clue. But, oh well. Why is Abu running away? Alright, this is probably the hard, hardest bonus token to get. I really don't know what that's called, so I'm calling it bonus thing or bonus token. Maybe someone in the comments would. Look at that. First LP and I'm already asking for comments. Oh well. Oh yes. These new purple guards will hit you twice instead of just once, so be careful. Only way to get that ruby is to float down from high above it. Because you can jump off it with those platforms. But I should note that that sand that's moving will take you with it. So it's best to keep moving and keep jumping. Unless you get pushed off to your doom. Oh genie my genie, what have you in store for us this time? Hmm. We got a heart again. But we're already at full health. Oh, so it gives us a one up. That's cool. You go, Genie. You go. I'm making pretty good progress with this one. Wait. Don't go up yet. Get that big heart ruby. And with three more rupees, we'll be at maximum heart capacity. No more hearts for us. Oh, I mean, you need only one more one up to have maximum lives. So we're almost there. We still got a few more stages left to go in the game. I'm gonna be a bit careful going for that red ruby. Or you'll take damage like I did. Right, now this one's kinda tricky to do it safely. You've gotta time it so that you'll hit the ruby and bounce off the head thing at the same time. Not always easy to do very safely. But it can be done. I think in my silent playthrough, in most of my playthroughs, I can do it. And by silent playthrough, I mean the, when I first uploaded this game, I was just merely a year ago. I was testing out my easy cap, and so I just recorded this game with without commentary, but to see how it would look when I recorded it. And that was in five parts, back with the old ten minute time limit. At the rate this is going, I'll probably do it within three, thanks, thanks to the fact I'm doing it faster and the new fifteen minute time limit. And this is the last stage, I mean level of the pyramid stage. Got these chains with hook hooks you can grab onto that move up and down. Just keep moving and you'll be fine. Keep. Ah oh, yes, that guy. We'll be seeing a lot more of him. And uh, the boss here is a sphinx? What could it be? Apples do nothing, jump on it. Holy crap, the second boss of this game was Abu. Stupid monkey. Yeah, you hit yourself in the head for being a dumbass. 
and he somehow found another exit to the pyramid. And now we finish stage five. And I always miss a movie there, I never know which one it is. So now Aladdin is a prince. This is the last auto scrolling level of the game. And it's the only one that's impossible to fail at. No matter what you do, you can't take damage. Or even die. You just have a 16 bit version of a whole new world and you're collecting rubies. I don't think I've ever gotten all the red rubies in this stage ever. It can be a bit tricky to find, I tell you what. And I think there's one nearby. Yes, there is. And I just missed another one. Luckily, we have more than enough to do what all the red rubies do near. But I'll show you that when the time comes, which won't be till later. Now, if you collect enough of these and go to the bottom part of the screen, you'll see fireworks. I can't really hear the music through my speakers right now, so I'm not quite sure how close we are to the end. So I'm just going to stick to the bottom. There we go. I think the number of fireworks you see depends on how many boobies you collect, because usually I can get like at least three to show up. Like three or four I think. Yeah, only got about half of them this time. <laughs> 